It's time for Make Magazine Search for the host of the new TV series that is involved with Make. My name is Ryan Brooks and I'm from Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Uh, I'm 28 years old. I am a teacher, uh, recently graduated, and I am now supply teaching for grades 4 to 10. Um, I am an Ironman enthusiast, as you may see, and uh, I have been making my living off of uh, all things Iron Man for the past uh, few months. Um, I love. I taught myself everything I know uh, about tinkering electronics, building, um, just so I could build Iron Man suits. Uh, for example, I, a lot of people have photos of their family on their walls. I have photos of my circuits, custom-made circuits for Iron Man. As you can see, there's my maker space, and. Uh, I'm going to show you a few th reasons why I think I would be an excellent candidate to be a host on your new upcoming TV show. Here we go. Costume making. That's right. I got my start in this whole world of building from costumes. The first one I ever made was Link from Legend of Zelda. I built the entire suit. The shield is functional, strapped on your back, and is able to detach and hook around. Built Ninja Turtles because I was a huge fan of Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. Uh, so I made Michelangelo shell, you could take a sledgehammer too. I built Hawkeye for my brother this past Halloween, and uh, the suit included a bow snap action, which you'll see right here. Compacted and opened up. Here's a quiver that's going to include uh, the, the mechanism you're about to see that I've designed here. There is a control mechanism here that matches, so left and right uh, quiver base match up with those. Six buttons and uh, icons indicating what each arrowhead does. Now, so all you got to do um, is just push down on a uh, button here, and it will rotate that uh, arrowhead to that position and line it up. And then once you've lined it up here, so it's the one on the outer side, uh, you can push, you can push. This here, I don't know if you can see that popping up there, but uh, watch the uh, switch here, okay? So push this, it will light up, and it also makes that servo lift up and push that arrowhead. These are the custom arrowheads that I designed that will fit into that quiver mechanism, all 3D made by myself. I also learned to design my own uh, custom PCBs, and uh, that, this is the arc reactor, it actually lights up and makes sound. Here it is illuminated, and it's a really cool blasting sound activated by a magnet uh, waved by the front of it. I also built uh, repulsors that, uh, these have been huge sellers online, um, and I'll show you how they work in this uh, video right here. There you go, that's the um, stable light. Uh, when you recline your hand, there's your blast. If you leave it in prone position here, you'll see um, there's a blast again. What you get is that effect of powering down. There you go. And then it stays off, so it saves battery power. It mimics the exact thing you see in the movie, and then whenever you're ready, blast again. Uh, also for Fan Expo in August, I built the whole gauntlet from the first movie. Uh, it actually has quite a few functions. And uh, some of it's built from Lego, but there's so much that this thing can do, which I'm about to show you in this video. Uh, essentially what I wanted to do was recreate uh, as much of the gauntlet, uh, its functionality again, as possible if, uh, as seen in the movie. So, um, the Pulsar Blast. Uh, I've also got this feature, so um, just like when he's sitting on the couch and uh, he's getting really angry at watching what the terrorists are doing. Uh, you can turn the tool and do the charging sound. Uh, I don't have the tool yet, but that's essentially the effect that I wanted. And then uh, the other thing it has is this light pipe that runs all the way down and up uh, to the arc reactor. So when you blast, uh, I don't know if you can see the... Hold on one sec. So it actually runs the light down the pipe. Activation switch. And it's a little uh, jittery, but uh, it moves one to one wherever I'm tilting this accelerometer, uh, the gun moves as well. Um, it's got about 180 degrees range uh, in each direction. 
And then of course if I want to fire, I just connect to the firing switch and it will fire. And then if I pull out the activation switch, uh, it goes back to its safety position. Well here it is. This is the ex-wife from the War Machine suit. And that's it. 3D modeling. That's also one of my big fortes now. I've taught myself how to do this with Autodesk Inventor. Uh, here is the uh, forearm armor for the new Iron Man suit I'm building. Uh, that missile pod area actually houses uh, this mechanism, which I've designed that will allow it to spread open just like in the movie and has a little rocket in there. It doesn't actually fire though. Uh, I also designed the entire endotech that goes underneath, so I'll be getting all this 3D printed. Uh, I'm very excited to see that one. The Unibeam actually rotates. Uh, here's a helmet which the mask moves, uh, there's lights, sound, everything uh, encompassed into one helmet. Uh, also the uh, Unibeam or Arc Reactor, this is a custom build which is the first thing I've 3D printed myself. Uh, here it is with the uh, custom made circuit board inside as well. And I've been doing all this with my MakerBot Replicator 2 that I just purchased. Very excited and very happy with. Um, here's a video of the very first mechanism so uh, you actually need to do a snap back or snap forward to open and close the mask. I felt that was the most natural um, to do it, and it doesn't. It's hands free, which is which is a big big plus. So um, I'm going to demonstrate that with click flick here. The other thing I included was sound effects because I figured, well, why not? I mean that. So you'll hear when it opens, you hear a nice whoosh, uh, like air releasing, uh, and then when it closes, there's a nice metal clank. Here we go. So this is the opening of the faceplate. There's that, uh, wonderful. And if you didn't notice, the LED also fades off as soon as it's open. Uh, this is pretty sturdy, it'll hold its position right now. Uh, the servo's doing the work if it needs to, to keep that mask up. And then, uh, of course, when you close it, there's that nice metal clank. And uh, the LEDs do a nice little um, f effect. So they flicker at full brightness and then fade to a more neutral brightness. But my real claim to fame is building a transforming Mark V Iron Man briefcase suit that actually transforms into the full suit of armor. Uh, it's the first world first, and it got me a whole lot of publicity. I was over 60 different websites, and I got uh, featured on Daily Planet with Jay Ingram, my own segment, which is pretty awesome. Uh, which leads me to my next section, which is celebrities. Other than the fact that uh, people say I look like Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, I actually am friends with a lot of celebrities, or at least I've met them. Uh, Adam Groh from the Cash Cab, Sean Patrick Flannery from uh, Boondock Saints, as well as Norman Reedus, and J.P. Manu from a whole bunch of different things he's done. Stan Lee and me, we go way back, or we met once. But why me? Why am I the best candidate for this show? Well, let me give you a few more reasons. Uh, one I already mentioned, I'm a teacher, which means I'm great at researching material and presenting it to an audience and making it accessible to them of all ages. I also worked with a uh, summer camp at the University of Waterloo called Engineering Science Quest, where my entire job revolved around me um, coming up with new and exciting electronics and engineering activities and presenting it to kids. Uh, another thing, Trivia Night, I designed and hosted at my university every week for the past year, uh, which gave me great experience talking in front of people and I got to work on my improv skills. I also worked for Marvel for uh, the past five years as a character actor where they hired me to go to various events like Blue Jays games and uh, kids museums and all sorts of stuff where I wear costumes and I perform, I do live radio interviews, uh, very comfortable in these types of scenarios. And my YouTube channel already has over 750 subscribers, almost a million and a half views and people from there have already recommended that I do my own show. Well, obviously, I think this all ties into why I would be an excellent candidate for your show. So, thanks for your consideration, and thanks for the opportunity, Make Magazine. You guys are all right. You can keep doing what you're doing, because I love the magazine, and I'm really excited for the show, regardless of whether or not I get to be a part of it. Uh, be sure to check out some of the links down in the description here. Uh, just a few more examples of my work that I didn't throw in this video. And for everyone else, be sure to click the like button right over there. Go click on it right now. Perfect, thank you very much. Because uh, if my math is right, and it always is, more likes are better. 
So thanks. Uh, as always, be sure to comment on the video because compliments make me smile and, well, you trolls, you guys make me laugh. So everyone just go ahead and say whatever's on your mind. Uh, so that's, that's it. This has been Ryan Brooks, a.k.a. The Real Tony Stark, signing off. Thanks for watching.